Hey guys, Nifla here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to showcase the build I was playing on stream today and I was asked about it because it is the AFK leveling kind of. I started to do my torment and bloodlines challenges and therefore as you know you need three level 85 characters from different classes and so I thought how can I get up very fast and efficient with low gear cost and well I got back to my beloved face breakers and as you can see here leveling is quite easy you just stand around and get hit by mobs and they kill themselves pretty damn easy and if that's not enough you can still cyclone and one hit everything I will also show this on a higher level area just for proof if people are complaining about me running around at Zarn. But let's get a quick look at my gear. First of all, got the Facebreaker, pretty obvious stuff. Uh, for uniques, I'm using Meganoids, of course, for the flat physical damage. Pretty cheap 5 chaos item you can use from level 8 on. Then for the endgame, of course, Abysses, which uh, is also pretty cheap as we don't need increased melee critical strike multiplier. Just try to get a decent roll increased physical damage taken, so maximum 42%. For other uniques, they are just optional. One is the Great Old Ones Ward, a pretty new shield introduced 1.3.0, which uh, grants flat physical together with attack speed, life, and chance to block spells. It has no resist, but therefore increasing your damage significantly. So if you can spare the resist on all the other gear, then uh, I'll just show you the difference. Right here we got 25k DPS tooltip, and just equipping the shield will grant me 30k DPS. So pretty, uh, pretty sick. So if you can, this one is around 10 chaos to one exalt. It, I will see where the price uh, will end finally, but it's not that expensive for endgame. And for chest, of course, right here I'm using a carcass jack, which is fully optional for its increased radius of area skills and uh, area damage. Uh, you can of course also use Belly of the Beast for more life or just simply any rare life chest with uh, resistances and armor. Uh, for 5 link or 4 link, it doesn't really matter, DPS is good enough. Uh, just uh, give you the setup here rough, real quick, you got melee physical damage, blood magic, cyclone, increased area effect and concentrated effect. Which will result in a decent damage and blood magic for the high skill cost obviously as we don't have any mana. That's also the big point. When you start playing, you have to get to level 24 in order to be able to use the Cyclone. Therefore, just use Molten Strike first till you can get the Face Breakers. Then you can use Infernal Blow till level 24 and then you can use Cyclone. And before you can run Cyclone Blood Magic, which might be a bit too expensive in the early levels because your HP is just so low and your HP region is also very low, you might uh, think of using Cyclone uh, just single cyclone no links and then uh, using Elrond's rings and amulets with minus mana cost in order to get a uh, free cyclone basically for the first uh, levels because actually with face breakers and the high physical damage you don't need anything else than just a simple cyclone skill jump in its current form. So let's continue with the, the setup. For auras I run a Hatred and a Ash, just standard stuff. You can of course add proliferation to the Herald of Ash if you want to utilize on the burn a little more. And the third aura is basically free to choose whatever you're lacking. Uh, if you're using a certain resist, just check out the purities. If you need more region, just vitality, whatever you are lacking, you can just swap it in. Pretty flexible. And then of course we come to the counter-attack skills that enable us to AFK which are the three Vengeance, Reckoning and Repulse. Vengeance will work for everything, it just has a 30% chance to counterattack with this skill when hit and then has a short cooldown and then do it again, which is a area around you. Then we got the other two which are procced on block and that's also the reason why you need to, if you really want to utilize on them, you are gonna have some block chance and the higher your block chances, the more often you will attack. And those you can even link with uh, stuff like life gain on hit, so increasing your survivability like crazy. So I would really recommend you to get all three of them when you're using a shield, utilizing maximum extra DPS from counter attacks together with safety through life gain on hit or 
other means of defense. You can apply blind, curses, there are a variety of choices. So let's check out the uh, passives in order uh, to get the, this puzzle clear. Pretty easy, straightforward build. You just need physical damage, merely physical damage, together with life, life regeneration and a few keynotes. Keynotes will be Master of the Arena for its increased area of effect, for plus two melee weapon and unarmed ranged. Then we got Art of the Gladiator for increased attack speed and specially ignore all movement penalties from armor, which is very good for Cyclone. Uh, Unwavering Stance as a melee build uh, shouldn't be able to get stunned. It's really effective to be immune. Then we got Resolute Technique to obviously always hit, never crit, as we don't play Critical Strike character. And for the rest, it's pretty much just life life regeneration and over here we took the area at the Templar node. But what is really, really interesting with the 1.3.0 block chance was nerfed but they introduced new hybrid uh, block nodes. Uh, block chance together with increased melee physical damage which are pretty handy for face breakers as you need weapon unspecific physical damage and most physical damage nodes in a passive tree are actually bound to a specific weapon type like two-handed melee damage or one-handed melee damage or like melee damage with swords all that stuff but those with the block chance actually are global like increased melee physical damage and also working with your face breakers so uh, there's a no-brainer to use them and uh, together to increase your block chance in addition so increasing your block chance of course will make you uh, much more tanky against your own reflect against other attacks and of course will proc your uh, reckoning and your repulse a lot more often so really nice synergies going on so this build is very very cheap in gear you can just with a budget of 10 chaos get the main items and level it to level 75 with a fall link basically and just as a proof of concept i will do this underground river boss here level 74 map which should be fair for a level 75 character. And 25k DPS Cyclone is also not the worst when it comes to damage. We are a great white beast and it's dead. So it's basically face rolling. If you have any questions to this build, of course feel free to post them in the comment section on YouTube below. And for requests on other guides or topics, uh, of course, uh, also uh, feel free to express any wishes or constructive critique. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel to stay in touch. And of course, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Because the next build I will work on is the Promised Spark. Especially to the community from Taiwan. Those guys are uh, pretty interested in this star Spark thing. So don't be disappointed, I'm working on it, but in order to get a really good build going on, I need to have good theory crafting and good testing, uh, but uh, I will bring you the build soon enough. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you next time.